All right, guys, hope you are all doing good. Um, I am currently in a Bitcoin short position, and man, I'm gonna take a screenshot right now. Uh, better yet, a screen recording just to uh, show you guys some proof, but this trade is going crazy, right? So um, I kinda wanted to show you guys exactly how I got into this trade. Uh, and I'm in this live, right? And I took this trade literally like a couple of hours ago, I think an hour ago. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how uh, I am doing this and how you can do the same thing, right? First things first, the trading view indicator that I'm gonna be using is Easy Algo. Be sure to click the first link in the description below to get yourself Easy Algo, right? This is the trading view indicator that I use, the only trading view indicator I use um, to make some insane gains, right? Um, and this day, this day, this is a great day for me, right? I'm currently sitting at, I think, over 2,500 uh, United States dollars and the and the price is still dumping, of course. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able uh, to catch this move. Now, I was already in um, a short from, or actually a couple of shorts uh, from up here, you know, at these levels, uh, but I took a majority of the profits from those down here at this low level. I mean, I posted that all in the Discord, uh, but I was looking at this level right here to take a short, right? I think I got it in trade at around 19.96, maybe 19.9 ish, somewhere around here. Um, and reason being was that it was a swing failure, right? It was a swing failure of this high candle wick um, right here, right? So price came above that candle um, and started to break below. Now, what you'll also notice on the 30 minute time frame was that we had an easy algo sell signal. Um, so we had an easy algo sell signal and I saw that it was uh, not confirmed yet, but it was trying to confirm on the 30 minute time frame. Um, so, you know, that would have been a great, great short to enter. You know, you also could have caught a swing failure right here. Um, or a swing failure right here, right, of these candle wicks. Um, no, I actually had a limit order, so I didn't actually catch it on the way down. I had a few limit orders um, with shorts prepared, right? So the first spot I was looking at was 19.96, uh, which uh, I forget, I think that was a swing failure of this candle, right? It was somewhere around here. Uh, so that is around where my limit order was. Um, you also could have caught it right here. Um, but I also set a few other limit orders right here for a swing failure of this level and also a limit short right here and price looks to be uh, rebounding here. So I probably should take some profits. Um, I'm really waiting for us to come down to this low level though, uh, or even lose that better yet. Pretty much my, my trade thesis uh, from a technical standpoint uh, was trying to catch some of these swing failures, right? Uh, with limit orders, but really my thesis is on spy, right? Because spy is uh, dumping, um, dumping pretty, pretty heavily. All right, we're getting rid of that, right? So if we lose this double bottom right here, right? If we lose this level, um, it's lights out and we are, we're barely hanging on to it, right? So my trade thesis is that we're gonna lose this level, uh, probably come down more, right? Probably come down more uh, um, to, you know, geez, what is it, yellow? Uh, you know, come down more through October, right? That's my trade thesis. So that was also, you know, a big part of why I took that short um, and why I'm not bullish, right? Because even when price came down here, right, to this low level, um, you know, I said in the Discord to add a limit long at 18.4, right? And that's exactly uh, what price did, right? It bounced up from this low level. And I said, we're gonna target the 19.4 and take profit. So this is where I recommended people to take profits um, because, you know, I saw this happening. And this is not a breakout retest uh, trade, right? Like I've seen this play out way too many times to know that this is not a good time to enter a long position. Even if we get a short term bounce from right here, this is not a good time to take a, a long position, right? I've seen this play out way too many times. Um, and by the way, I'm posting all of these in the Discord too. Like these setups I'm posting um, so you can follow, right? Uh, I'm not just keeping these to myself. So if you wanna get easy, I'll go and get in the Discord, you know where to go. Um, but like I said, right, we got a hike in Ashy Candles. We are in this range, right? We are in this range right here. And uh, we broke out of this range, right? We broke out of this range. Um, so the trade thesis for a long right now would be a retest, right? Would be to break out of it, right? Come back down and retest. This is not a retest that I like to see. This is what I call a deviation because we were still faced with resistance right here and also a swing failure right here. Um, you know, so th this is all a resistance level, right? This zone right here is, you know, a ton of resistance. So we could not manage to turn that into support and we broke right through. 
that's bearish, right? That's not, uh, you know, a bullish sign at all. Uh, you know, for me to be bullish, I'd like to see a clean reaction from the zone right here. I'd like to see a clean reaction where we'd come back down into the zone and find some support before going back up, right? And do something like that. Obviously, that's not what happened. Um, and, you know, macroeconomics as well are playing a role. So really, my plan is to hold this trade uh, to the low level and hopefully, uh, you know, hold it past that if we break that low level for, for a great trade. Um, but, you know, I just thought I'd record because I literally just took this trade an hour ago, uh, had some limits set up and I want to show you guys how how I entered, why I entered um, and, you know, my my trade thesis and how you can do the same thing. So if you'd like more videos like this where I'm showing you a trade live, maybe maybe some sort of live trading or I just took a trade and I'm showing you guys uh, my thought process when I'm in it. Uh, definitely be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do more videos like this where it's real price action, real time, and I can show you guys uh, step by step how you can do it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more trading content, and I'll see you guys next video.